Let me tell you guys what we're gonna do first. So first thing we need to do, clean up all the empty boxes. The strategy is get rid of anything that you don't want. So I've got my little baggie here and we're gonna just start cleaning up and move on to the next step after that. Okay, before we get started in any of this organization stuff, I need to show you guys the current state of my room. Don't judge me. Basically, we have a ton of PR boxes unopened. We've got makeup products everywhere when I'm filming. There's just a lot of chaos and I haven't organized any of this in a really long time. Now back to the plan. So we've got to clean up all of these empty boxes and start throwing away what we don't need. Making some progress here, but as you can see, I kind of started using my entire desk, even the front and the back to place products because I was truly running out of space. I honestly can't decide if I want to open these first so I can toss the boxes. I decided to open up these boxes first because I have a lot of new organizers that I'm gonna need. A hot tool mat, if you have your straightener on or a curling iron, you could just lay it on here. So these are for pants, for jeans. I'll show you guys when I'm actually done hanging them. A mini filing cabinet. I put the boxes together. This is what they look like. Now I can at least put some paperwork away. Hair tool organizer for the top of my vanity. My hair dryer in here, curling iron, whatever hot tools I'm using. Any extra storage spaces I can have will help. Basically I learned like if your things don't have a home, that's how mess happens, which is so true. This was so key. Basically, it hides all the messy cords, which I have a ton of cords like this. And then you put a lid over it and it's like, it's not even there. I almost forgot that I ordered this because it was so heavy and I was like, what did I order? So I bought this marble round tray for my fragrances because currently I don't have them in a nice place at all. And I'm not really a fragrance person, which is probably why, but I figured now that I have some and I've been receiving more, I have to store them properly. Okay, and then it's a little like thing for my vanity. I basically wanted to put cotton swabs, cotton rounds and like sponges on my vanity because I ran out of drawers, honestly. And I think those things anyway go best in something that I can just grab. Got it on Amazon, has three little slots. Okay, now it's time to actually like put this stuff away and start cleaning. Okay, so we started out with hair tools and I found a cool way to set up my plugs behind my vanity so that I actually don't have to plug them in every time before I use them and they just stay plugged in. I had originally all of my hair tools in a drawer and it was just so messy every time I wanted to style my hair. So this just makes so much more sense. Such a huge difference already paperwork and mail. I don't even know why this started happening, but that's why we got the file cabinet. I found these little organizers in Home Goods, and it was perfect for my foundations, the one that I use the most because I do want to have them easily accessible for me to just grab without opening a bin. And I tried to create a system where I put all the radiant foundations together and all of the matte finish foundations together. And in this other bin, I just put all of the extra foundations that I either haven't gotten to yet or that they're they're maybe not the right color or I don't use that often. Now for the fragrances, this was really needed. Okay, I had all of my fragrances just laying everywhere and I finally got this tray. So we put them on here and it looks so much better. I put the ones that I use the most. I might do a separate video for favorite fragrances. Let me know if you guys would want to see that. Okay, this little box I actually found at Crate and Barrel, but I'm pretty sure Amazon has some too. It was perfect for the amount of sunglasses I have. I don't have a huge collection, but I do have a few that I would need to keep stored away nicely. Okay, the next day and some new stuff came in the mail. Yes, that is Fenty Beauty from Miss Rihanna. And we got some new organizers. I ordered these off Amazon. Again, everything will be linked down below, but I really needed these for my drawers. So let's get to the drawers now. So in one drawer, which I will show you guys here, I'm doing all of my mascaras, which I have a lot of these, a lot of 
brand send out mascaras so there's a ton that i haven't even had the chance to open yet but i put all my mascaras together and i also made room to put some of my eyeliners and mostly dedicate this drawer to my eye products not considering palettes or anything like that but these little okay these little organizers it was like playing tetris in a way trying to get everything to fit and you know make sense in the drawer but you'll see that i kind of move this around a lot but in the end it all kind of worked out so these are all my liquid eyeshadows eyeliners some glitter some you know eyeshadow base mascaras and all that stuff and then this drawer I don't know what's going on here this was supposed to be like the stuff that i use every day but it easily became chaos but we're gonna get to that later we're gonna work on this drawer first which i have my concealers and powders all together kind of mixed up in here but i want to just dedicate this to concealers because i have a lot of concealers and that's one of the things that i like to buy a lot of or receive more from so i i just wanted to dedicate a drawer specifically to concealers only so as you can see these little storage organizers just come in handy and i start just organizing all of my concealers these are some of my favorite ones by the way i try to think about which ones i reach for more often and you'll see that i kind of move things around a little bit here too but i just wanted to make sure that when i'm using it what products am i going to lean over to grab more often because that's where i would want to organize it and it looks so good i think it came out pretty good there's some products that i haven't yet opened or used and i like to leave them in the box because i want to remember to use them later and make content so next up we have our chaotic blush bronzer drawer um yeah so i just had to take everything out which by the way side note i realized while editing this video that my drawers were built i think wrong because the inside of this drawer is supposed to be the white part but i think we flipped the bottom piece and that's why it's brown on the inside i got this from ikea so if someone else has this desk please let me know anyways okay for this drawer i really wanted to dedicate a drawer to powders but i ran out of drawers so i had to condense my powders blushes and bronzers here which let's be real i have way too much i couldn't even fit everything in there but for now this is gonna have to do and then back to this chaotic drawer i had random stuff in here like my broken light my brow pencils my eye cream um hair clips like honestly this is a disaster so we took everything out and i decided to make this my primer and prep drawer since it's the first drawer that's kind of the first step in the makeup routine so we decided to dedicate this to prep so i put all of my most used primers and skin prep items there cleaned this up we're gonna add some string lights here and we kind of need to fix this actually it was clean and then i'm letting too much time pass by and now i have way more <laughs> pr packages that have added to the mix so yeah we still have a little bit of work to do okay here is my vanity area i added some cute stuff for the fall season i did a separate video on what i got but i basically got these i got these cute little leaves i got this at michael's it's a garland and then i got these cute little pumpkins which i found these at target for a dollar you guys and i got this at home goods this one i think was only like 10 bucks i got these two little bins for my electronics because i'm constantly needing my camera chargers some cloths to wipe my phone screen and just like my tech essentials that i'm constantly using every day so i can easily access them there i turned on my light so you can see it a little bit better since it is a little bit dark in here right now i even put up my black backdrop which i do when i film halloween stuff these two shelves where I have my deodorants and my primers. I've got my file cabinet. And then here I have all of my PR inserts that I received that have like my name on it. I don't know why, I just feel like they're special and I want to keep them. So, so I have my palettes here. I got this little palette organizer, I think, either at Home Goods or Amazon, most likely Home Goods for this one. 
and I have a, a lot of palettes. So these are the ones that I will use more often. Up here, I have more palettes. There's a lot of Sigma palettes, and then I have a lot of my mini palettes here. I thought it was perfect for that small organizer. Here, this is kind of like my, I don't know, I have like a go backs. I call it like a go back bucket, either this one or have another one. And basically when I film, I want to be able to put all this stuff in one place just to clear my desk and then organize later. These are all unopened beauty products that I received in PR. Some stuff that I plan to shoot content with soon, but I just haven't had a chance to. Yeah, I got some, some PR stuff here that I really do want to get to film with, but I haven't had a chance to. I plan to organize this better where I put my skincare in maybe a rotating thing, something like this one, which has my hair care. But at the moment, this is what I could make fit for now. I put some of my hair stuff, lip mask, lip scrubs, basically kind of like accessories and skincare related stuff in here. By the way, this is my vanity, my desk. Um, there's still a lot happening here because as I've been filming, more PR has arrived put my puffs, these little powder puffs, some mascara wands. I had some Q-tips in here, but I need to refill that. I did organize this drawer, but it has started to get a little chaotic with more new stuff as it comes in, but it's not so bad. Lip products, more liquid lipsticks and lip glosses. This was a huge transformation. I know there's like still some work to do. It's always a work in progress but this was all of the palettes just thrown in here before this. So this is huge progress. We've got palettes in acrylic trays now, lashes here. All right guys, that completes the video. We've got everything pretty organized for now. There's always new things coming in and there's always new mess to be made, let's be honest. Every week I'm cleaning my station. I hope you enjoyed this and got some inspiration or ideas. Maybe you're gonna go organize and redecorate your space too. If you guys are interested in any of the organizing items that I showed in this video, make sure to check the description box below where I will link everything for you guys. If you enjoyed this video, please do me a favor and hit the thumbs up because it helps support the channel and also if you guys haven't subscribed yet I'd love to ask for a huge favor because about 80% of people watching my videos have not subscribed sad face go ahead and hit the subscribe button thank you so much and I'll see you guys in the next video bye